All right, it's Thirsty Thursday. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. All right, it's Thirsty Thursday. Which means uh, absolutely nothing to me except for that I get paid tomorrow. So we are starting out in uh, the city of Irvine as usual, and we'll be riding to the city of Orange. Right now we're in this massive uh, building complex on the corner of uh, Von Karman and Michelson. I guess this would be the uh, northeast corner. Something like that. Let's identify some cars real quick. Rolls Royce. Got a Corvette. Got a Ferrari pulling in. So I'm hoping that that this video is decent. Uh, I have two videos in queue right now from yesterday. Uh, pretty basic videos, pretty standard. Nothing uh, noteworthy happened on any of the rides. Uh, which is fine you know i don't go out of my way i could go out of my way to get uh potentially uh viral content through most of these places that i ride through uh, i just don't do it uh, I don't really go looking for uh, for trouble, you know. I will get in trouble for going inside of these barriers, though, for sure. All right, let's be safe here. Oh, they got these fountains going over here. Nice. I've been waiting for that. So today, uh, so today we're filming using the uh, good old uh, GoPro Hero 10. Um, 4K, 30 frames per second. Uh, let's get a shot from the sunshine. Let's do that. I know this isn't that uh, spectacular, but uh, I really like fountains, so I want to get a shot of it. Uh, we're going to get the camera all wet. You can see that mist. I could put it in slow motion if we we're on uh, 60 frames. Pretty good, not bad. Good work, guys. Good work. I can remember coming to this complex when I was probably about, so I'm not from here, I'm from the Central Valle. Uh, but I had a friend whose family was uh, 
very affluent and uh, they lived on the Balboa Peninsula. They're from the Balboa uh, area, Newport Beach. And uh, uh, man, we're gonna miss this light. Anyway, uh, we came out here one time and rode skateboards when I was probably, I don't know how old I was, 16, 17. Ah, man, we're not gonna wait for this. We're gonna go. Yeah, I think we got kicked out right away, but honestly, I, I don't remember. That was a long time ago. So this camera is a lot, uh, it has a media module on it, so it's a lot heavier than the DJI. I actually have a, have a cover on the G DJI too. I haven't weighed either of the cameras to see which one actually weighs more. Um, probably not too significant, you know, but um, this one's a little, a little heavier than the DJI. Uh, with its cover on. So the DJI comes with like a little, uh, has a little uh, case that you can put around it so that you can switch it from, to the nine by 16 ratio. So you can do stuff for like Instagram and, uh, YouTube shorts and stuff like that. Let's see what time it is. It's 4.36. It's um, 79 degrees, it says. So not too bad. Uh, we're now on Main Street and MacArthur. Mac Arthur. Pushing off the curve. I'm still gonna use the DJI, but uh, I had asked somebody this morning about uh, I had to ask a general question in my comments about the uh, wind noise on the DJI. I don't watch all my videos, but I do watch some of them or I'll listen to them just to see you know how lame, lame I sound and uh, I had my earphones in and I was like man that noise uh, that wind noise can get kind of annoying it doesn't really bother me that much like I said I never really notice it I don't think about it and I think there's like potentially some kind of a therapeutic quality to it maybe but i uh i listen to white noise like all different types of white noise uh all the time so um 
So out, when we first had our first uh, child 13 years ago, uh, we started the white noise business. And uh, we've had white noise on in our main bedroom for 13 years. If we, we never go on vacation. Someday maybe we'll start going on vacations, but if we do go out of town for any reasons, go to hotels or somebody else's house, we, we have a white noise maker with us. And uh, uh, and then I also have my own my own room. Uh, with a TV and a bed, and uh, you know my schedules, uh, especially in the summertime, is a lot different than the families, and uh, so I, I I've got my own little spot, and uh, yeah, white noise there all the time. I listen to uh, I listen to rain primarily. Um, and I turn it up very loud which is kind of dangerous in a way just because if there's any issues you know you're not going to hear them but I figure if the danger is bad enough like somebody will get my attention I mean it's not that loud but I do have it up somewhat loud uh Yeah, we don't do, uh, I want to see if I can get into this turning lane. We don't do the uh, ocean. So uh, I have it up loud enough so you can hear it from other rooms. So I don't, I don't do, uh, we can't do the ocean. So I'm not allowed to listen to o ocean white noise because, um, I think we can jump across here actually. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just gonna go this way, so. Uh, so yeah, the ocean, we're not allowed to listen to just because it's like, uh, creates kind of a sense of uh, danger, I guess. According to my wife. Like I think somebody along the line had a dream that they were like on this boat in the ocean drifting out to sea so it's uh usually like uh man it's windy right now usually it's the uh rain or just straight up white noise brown noise the river waterfalls so I guess my point in rambling on about this is that I never really noticed it a lot on my uh, footage all right so we're now on sunflower we're on sunflower and we're turning right onto flower well, the Flower Street bike path, Flower Canal, Flower, Flower Power. So we got somebody fighting the wind here. What's going on? I can't tell. Is that an umbrella? What do they have? A snow disc. He's had a. Uh, I look like one of those cushions that you sit on. I think that's what that was. So we're just gonna call this the Flower Street Bike Path because I don't know what it's really called. And. Uh, 
the Flower Street Canal. And we're coming up to MacArthur. Oh, come on, hurry up, car. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, that intersection's... I don't like it too much. They could actually probably have traffic. I guess they couldn't have it stop back. It wouldn't make any sense, right? Got another e biker, another e biker. So yeah, I think they've been clearing everybody off the tracks. I'd be curious to see uh, what the tracks look like going uh, north and south, if they're, uh, or not north and south, whatever direction, the other ones that are going through town, if those are cleared up too, like over by uh, like Mini Street and like, uh, you know, between Grand and Standard right there. So the trees on this path uh, looked okay for a while, but they already look dry and dreary. he gonna go which way is he gonna go we're gonna stay right to Warner. We are to Warner. Find me some shade. We're at 
51 volts. We've gone, uh, we've been riding for 20 minutes already. 4.6 miles and uh, we're not even halfway home. We're not halfway to point B yet. So we're gonna get sandwiched. We're gonna get sandwiched at the taco truck. Getting sandwiched at the torta trucks. Oh yeah. Oh, not a smart move. It's all right. Guy just waved at me. I don't know if he was telling me to go or he's saying hi. It might be somebody I know. A lot of people that uh, that work where I work uh, live in Santa Ana. We even have uh, people that live in. Uh, in the uh, LA area. Like I know somebody from Torrance. Uh, somebody else I know lives somewhere in South Central. All right, we're to Edinger. So at a certain point, I do want to cut over to uh, into downtown. But I don't know on what street. Probably won't go all the way to Maine, maybe go to Broadway. Yeah, we're gonna cut over, we're gonna go to Broadway and we're gonna ride on the sidewalk on Broadway. I think that's what we'll do. I'm just trying to decide if I should do it here on Edinger or wait. Maybe we'll cut through like a, um, through a uh, neighborhood. this next road up here.
Let's go on this street, Wilshire. They have the stones here representing the neighborhood. This little stone thing that says Wilshire. So it's kind of a, probably a little historical neighborhood. And all the, uh, these cross streets have stop signs, so that's kind of nice. All these awesome oak trees. We're passing a street called Van Ness, which actually didn't have a stop sign. And we're to Ross, which I recognize. Okay, I'm getting messages on my phone here. So we're gonna be coming up to Broadway pretty soon. All right, we're to Broadway. But actually let's skip Broadway and let's go to uh, Sycamore. All right, we just passed Broadway and we're going to Sycamore. We'll make a left on Sycamore and see what's happening. We're just gonna start going all over the place now. I didn't realize this school was right here right away, so. hit main I was gonna turn left but uh, the way that dude in the car looked at me I was like nah we'll go ahead and go to Maine I shouldn't have said I was gonna go on Broadway because now I'm thinking I might not. That's why it's like, I try not to plan routes because I never, if I'm going through like city areas, I can't, it's rare for me to be able to, uh, to, uh, to go the way I'm gonna say. But we'll cut back over to Sycamore and then, uh, See what's up. Free food. Free food. We like free food. Dang, this place is, uh, this place is occupado. Dude, that car was listening to the uh, Kenny Rogers, the gambler. Man, we just ain't having any luck getting through this city.
Let's go. All right, so we're on Sycamore now. We're gonna make a left onto Highland. We're gonna jump on the sidewalk. Oh, but there's people. All right, we're not. We're gonna go back into the street. Yeah, so just know if I say I'm planning on going somewhere and it's through Santa Ana, more than likely I'm gonna switch up on you and change, change plans. Leaf blower, man. If I make an OC commuter t-shirt, it's going to have like me on a bike. And it's going to have a guy with a leaf blower blowing a bunch of leaves onto me. Leaves and trash and stuff. We're hitting the sidewalks, y'all. So we're on Broadway, coming up to uh, First Street. So hopefully this is where we'll be at tomorrow night. Because I do want to go on a night ride again. So I had a request to, uh, to ride uh, 17th Street, 1st Street, McFadden and Edinger. Uh, from uh, going heading west. Uh, so I started doing that this morning. I rode on 17th Street, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to publish that video or not. I'm thinking I'm going to do this this video because my last video was a morning video. So I'll probably publish this video and then I'll try to hit one of those routes tomorrow, maybe. But like I can only go, in the morning I can only go as far as Bristol. So I can start at Tustin and go to Bristol. And then, um, but it's, it's, it'll be difficult for me to hit, you know, too far west on the, uh, weekdays so I think uh, the gentleman's name is I think it's Tom so if you're watching this how far west do you want to see the videos like uh, all the way to uh, to Bristol or is Flower Street far enough I would think all the way to Bristol because all those streets you're talking about those are those are all badass streets and they're all good all the way to Bristol and probably beyond Bristol. So if that's the case, uh, then we can do, uh, we can do that on the weekend. I can take them. Oh, that would be awesome. So I could take, take them west all the way to the bike path.
All right, we're now crossing 4th Street on Broadway. We all know what Main Street looks like, so it's very hard for me to not ride on Main Street right now, but we're gonna stick to, uh, to Broadway. See, I'm not the only one that rides on the sidewalks. In Santa Ana, it, it is definitely more common to see somebody riding a bike on a sidewalk than in the street. Here, let's cut this way. Oh yeah, we have some bells. Oh man. Look at this hole. This hole of death right here. Man. Yeah, I'm a fan of bells. Fountains and bells. Is this car gonna turn? What's she doing? Go, go, go. Are you going? Or then we're gonna go. Ooh, shoot. Oh shoot, I gotta put it on voltage. Ah, oh, there we go. Sad girl. She's sad. So we're back on uh, Sycamore. Passing 10th Street. Make a ride onto Washington. Oh, maybe a left onto Main Street. Yeah, we're gonna go left onto Main Street. Oh, yeah, this looks familiar. So I am tempted to, uh, let's see how long we've been riding. Oh man, passing 15th Street. Oh. I am tempted to go up 17th, but uh, it's kind of too slow. I feel like uh, this video is already kind of long. Oh man, we're gonna hit the bus. He sees me. He sees me. So yeah, I gotta gain some ground. We're gonna stick stick to Maine, and we'll cross over through uh, through Orange. All right. So right now we're gonna go left of these guys because we wanna. All these cars are gonna be turning right. So we're gonna use the rooter guy for a shield. Oh, he's trying to get over. very good luck. We're still going to use them for a shield. Alright. Oh, there he is, man. He didn't make 
make it. That wasn't my fault. Okay, right now we're just gonna follow green lights. And the next, uh, next red light will make a right. Paddling, man. I need more gears. I need another gear. The bus is coming, bro. I saw it. Okay, Mercedes. No, 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 no. like you're turning are you turning no you're just going slow that's all right i drive slow too i drive very slow all right looks like we're turning on the vita of course very busy street oh we got a bunch of people making lefties we're going to get up into the curb until this traffic clears. We got Fast and Furious. Let's go over this way. So I'm not too sure what I'm doing at this point. We're going this way. Cut through this parking lot. Oh, this way. Oh, can I not? Am I trapped? I think I'm trapped, guys. And girls. Yes, I am trapped. All right, they have the gates open here. Ooh. I've been waiting for these gates to open for a long time. So I don't know the name of this place, but I don't think I'm supposed to be riding a bike through here. Oh, look at this. All right, all right. Something new. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Valiant Women by Sister Mary Peter Tremonte, OP. That's cool. That's very cool. This place is awesome. Okay, so the gates have been closed around here for a while. 
I don't know if they were doing remodeling or what, but um, but this just opened up a whole new section to explore. So uh, on a day, I'll set a day aside a day specifically to come by here. Maybe it's, if it's open in the morning, then that's going to be even better. But I doubt, I doubt it. Uh, I doubt it will be open in the morning. So we're now on Batavia, and uh, Batavia is Batavia is not a fun street to ride on at all. So we gotta get cross across the street. We have just enough time. Come on, come on. All right, good. Now we're at least on the right side of the road. All right, so we're gonna go uh, straight up to Chapman. And uh, make a right. And we'll go through uh, downtown Orange. Let's see how long we've been riding. This has been a long ride. 46 minutes. All right, I hope everybody's ready for our hour long video. All right, so we're now on Chapman. Heading east, eastbound into Old Town Orange. behind me oh she's man it's all right this is a nice uh, intersection so now we're on the corner of Chapman and Lemon Old Town Orange Street Fair is going to be this weekend and the city is going to be even more alive than it usually is so every year we have this uh, street fair where they shut down downtown and uh, all these little areas set themselves up uh, representing their uh, established neighborhoods. We got Germany, Greece, Asia, Italy, all the way to uh, Ireland, England, etc. On uh, Chapman and Glacelle. So they shut down the streets, shut down downtown. Each little booth serves food uh, relevant to their uh, region, and, along with alcohol and music for that specific area, live music. So we're gonna go ahead and stay in the traffic circle and uh, cruise around and check out the other countries that are along this strip. Ireland's on the end over here, which is my favorite area, especially when I used to drink. Um, I have, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, I have some Irish blood. I have a lot of bit of Irish blood. But uh, I like the music. That would be that would be the reason why I like that area because uh, they have a band a band that plays there called uh, American Wake, and they are uh, they play band or they play songs by. Uh, 
a band called the Pogues and then um, oh, we're gonna hit that mirror so the Pogues are pretty pretty awesome and uh, they also play songs by Floggy Molly and Dropkick Murphys which I don't listen to but I appreciate But uh, I've never really spent a lot of time there hanging out. You know, I've got kids, so. But it's a, it's basically a drunk fest. I mean, it's just, going there in the daytime is torturous. And uh, you know, the nighttime is, uh, it's cool at night. But in the daytime, I mean, it's it's crazy. Like, you'll see parents pulling a bunch of kids along in a wheel in a wagon. Kids are all sunburnt and crying. The dad's all sunburnt, drunk. The uh, you know, the wife's got her big old giant sun hat on. It's, it's that type of situation everywhere. But I don't know how many people show up, show up. It's probably an insane amount of people go there. Like I would say, I can't even guess. Hundreds of thousands, let's say that. Hundreds of thousands of people will be in that downtown area. Maybe not all at once, but they will be there this weekend. So if you look up uh, City of Orange Street Fair, I think all the information should come up. All right, our video is 52 minutes long. We have no power. Man, we're going to run out of battery, guys. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. Let's see. All right, we're gonna go on pedal assist three, so we make it. So we make it to point B. So that cop that just turned right, right here, there's always police parked in this parking lot. They go all the way down to the very end, over there in groups. So there's usually at least a couple of cop cars there, and they just chill back there in that back parking lot. And they, you can barely see them because they they're like right underneath the shade trees. Chapman University students. Chapman University exhibitionists. So those kids at that school are, I mean, out of control, man. They really are. Oh man, if we don't make this light, that's gonna suck, man. Oh, we're gonna get hit. Oh, we're gonna go. You're gonna go, I'm gonna go too. Yeah, I was with my kids in the circle one time at the fountain. And all of a sudden, this car is going around the circle. All of a sudden, this guy, I'm gonna call him a teenager, even though he was obviously a Chapman University student. He was definitely acting like a teenager. Jumped out of the car, ran through the circle, jumped into the fountain, swam across the fountain, or, you know, clogged through the water, came out the other side and then ran across the street and then jumped back in the car as it was going around the circle.
All right. So hopefully I didn't uh, talk too much during this video. I'm just trying to, you know, keep you guys informed, keep you entertained, and uh, hopefully you appreciate the ride. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.